Okay, so we're with, talking about the Rotary Club of Lexington and our involvement as a club with the Toyota Bluegrass Miracle League. Kevin Weaver, past president of the Rotary Club of Lexington, 2012 to 2013, and the founder of the Toyota Bluegrass Miracle League. It was Kevin's concept that, that brought this all to be, and Kevin, that's where I'd like to start off. What, what brought this up? Yeah, How yeah. did this come about? It was a concept that quickly was adopted by the club. When you look back at how it all started, it was on September 29th of 2004, and I had a young daughter who had been born in July of 2004. And um, I was just sitting in a chair that morning watching the Today Show, uh, giving her a bottle before I left for work, and all of a sudden this piece came on about a miracle league in Conyers, Georgia. And I was just taken by it. And before I ever left the house that day, I called Nell Main, and Nell said that we had been looking for, as a club, a, some kind of project to do for the International Rotary Centennial. And she said, this might be ideal. We want to do something big. She called Carolyn Kurz, who was the president at the time. She called you. Who, you were president-elect, I believe, at the time. We met the next day at Deshaies for lunch. You guys gave it your endorsement. And within a week, we were off and running as a club with this thing. And as I recall, it was quite the whirlwind trip. It was. This was a, this was a project that obviously, as a, as a parent, and, and this was your second daughter that at that time was real young, and it really hit home with you as a parent and how important it was for us as Rotarians to really make a difference in a lot of children's lives. And I think that that is really special that you showed the leadership to come forward to the Rotary Club of Lexington to get it done. Well, I'm, I was glad that I could do what I did, but it was such a huge effort that it could not have happened without a club like ours without a club of our size and influence for now a hundred years in the city. That's why it could happen. And essentially, um, after we had that lunch meeting on September 30th of 2004, there were funds set aside by Mac Albright, who had been a past president of our club and a past district governor. And his um, widow made those funds available for us to go up and study it, attend the International Miracle League Conference. We did that within, I think that was in about five weeks or so after we first talked about this. And it just took off from there. And the, the, the power and the support of our club and the influence that we had in going in and meeting with anybody, whether it was the city and talking about a park space or whether it was Toyota who ultimately put their name on this league. It just happened because of, of Rotary. And yeah, and you'll remember when we went out and did the meeting at Toyota, how that went, and I think you should talk about that because you actually led us through that meeting. Well, it, it really was special, but the Rotary Club of Lexington with our close to 400 members and our history of 100 years in this community, the influence, as you mentioned, that comes with that, with having leaders from this community, the, the business community, the charities, the, all the community organizations that ha have, have been and are members of the Rotary Club do make the almost unthinkable possible. And that's kind of what this organization, the Toyota Bluegrass Miracle League, at one point appeared to be almost undoable. It was too big in a lot of people's minds. But I think in the Rotary Club of Lexington's mind, it was not too big. It was something that had to be done. So we took that influence out to the community for fundraising, and it, it was very, very effective. So this will be part of a larger interview that you will see in the whole DVD package that you get celebrating the Rotary Club of Lexington Centennial. And that larger interview will include a piece from my friend Daryl Ishmael interviewing one of our star players, Callie Basler. <laughs> 